80 kilometers off the coast of Qatar, the sea is host to one of the most extraordinary events on this planet. An event of such importance that Qatar's Ministry of Environment has launched a long-term research project that involves some of the world's foremost researchers. Let's go on this one here. Can you lift me in? An event that happens on this scale in only a handful of places across the world's oceans. A gathering of the largest fish in the sea. While concern for the environment is a shared responsibility, the Ministry of Environment has made great efforts to protect Qatar's natural heritage and to achieve the environmental goals laid down by the Qatar National Vision 2030. If we nurture our environment, it will nurture us. The Qatar Whale Shark Research Project brings together the resources of the Ministry of Environment with those of Maersk Oil Qatar. The Ministry's laboratories undertake the delicate work of analysing whale shark skin samples for DNA and water samples to establish their diet. The Maersk Oil Research and Technology Centre provides a hub from which to plan surveys, organise equipment deployment and coordinate the data gathered from the offshore platforms. Over the next few years, the researchers led by David Robinson will decipher the secrets of these mysterious ocean wanderers. But one of the most fundamental questions to answer is just why do these magnificent creatures congregate here in such numbers? The Al Shaheen field is host to nine platform locations owned by Qatar Petroleum and operated by Maersk Oil Qatar. It is possible that these man-made islands are part of the answer. Soft corals and sea sponges grow on the reef-like structures and provide shelter for a myriad of small fish a marine oasis in a desert sea. And the plentiful food attracts much bigger fish. Above the waves, the platform crews play the part of sentinels, keeping watch for the arrival of the ocean giants. And arrive they do. There's actually like dodging a double-decker bus coming towards you when you see one of the whale sharks sort of coming out of the gloom. You get up close to its head and look at its eye and you're just wondering what has that animal seen in its lifetime. Sightings have been made in these waters of groups numbering over 100 whale sharks. I saw more whale sharks in one day than I've ever seen before in the rest of my career. Each one can grow up to 20 metres in length and can weigh as much as a fully loaded bus. But the whale shark is a gentle giant. They filter feed on plankton, fish eggs and small fish by cruising close to the surface. If this is what we can get in just a couple of minutes, imagine what these whale sharks are hoovering up. Little is still known of the world's largest fish. The research team will fit tracking devices to discover their migration patterns, create an identity database, and reveal their reproductive and feeding habits. The goal is to understand more so that these ocean wanderers can be better protected in the future. Never seen 70 or 80 whale sharks, and it was an incredible sight. 
This really does look like an amazing location to learn more about whale sharks. It was one of the big events that go on on this planet. The project will range wider than the whale shark and shed light on the entire ecosystem of these waters. We will have still many years to learn about the whale sharks and to also understand the biodiversity of Al Shaheen area. This coastal area has given so much to Qatar in the past. Its riches must be conserved for the future. <laughs>